Hi everyone, busy week back from Oshkosh. We're finally getting out of the sand and thought we'd share with you some videos of our departure. So uh, you don't have to look at me. I'm just doing some narration to explain some things going on. Unfortunately, the card on the way up with the landing at Oshkosh I wanted to share with you somehow didn't work. So we're gonna start with the departure. So what you'll be seeing here right now is us being towed out for uh, a departure from Oshkosh here in a second or two. Some of it I think is video and some of it is still pictures. We were tied up uh, in the Lycoming booth and once four o'clock Sunday hit, they let everybody push out. So there were hundreds of airplanes. The neat thing was that all the fixed wings were going to the right and I decided to ask to go to the left. So we parked the helicopter in the grass, I called tower and we got clearance to depart, remaining to the west of runway 36 and south of 37, uh, 27 rather. And upon departure, they told us uh, we were cleared across 27. As we uh, climbed out here, you'll see, uh, Carol actually noticed an airplane departing on 27, so I clarified that we were okay to cross 27. Tower clarified he had no restrictions, but we could start a turn to the west. So you're gonna see that here in a second or two. It was a little windy. We had a little bit of a crosswind there. It was a rather quick pickup. Uh, the marshallers wanted us to go to the runway, but since I was told to stay to the west of the runway, I elected not to do that and stay inside the taxiway. They were departing quite a few airplanes off of runway 36, and I just didn't want to distract anybody departing if it looked like a helicopter was uh, coming towards them from the left. So here's where we're making this turn here, right before 27. You can see most of Oshkosh is cleared out already. Uh, this again was Sunday afternoon right after the air show. So about 4.10 I think we got airborne. And so here we were cleared to turn west and then the tower was just super with all the departures. They asked what our on-course heading was. I told him we were going south to Waukegan. And he gave us a turn to 2.3.0 which is what you're looking at right here. And then we weren't very long on the 2.3.0 heading just to get a little bit away from the airport and we got cleared on course. So that was pretty cool. A really nice departure. It was interesting to see uh, the camp that you're looking at here. That's where we spent almost 10 days. It was still quite full on Sunday afternoon. Not quite as full, obviously, it was during the week. But uh, it did look kind of interesting. And this was the first time we've had this kind of departure out of Oshkosh. So we really, really enjoyed it. Having been coming there since 1981 and always departing in an airplane or a car or a camper. This time we got to depart in a helicopter. So that was pretty cool. And that uh, was a helicopter we built, by the way. And I'm sure many of you know that. And, but just in case, this is uh, the Hummingbird 300L that we built and flew to Oshkosh. So here's our approach now into Waukegan. That was our first stop southbound. Our goal was actually just to try and get out of Oshkosh and split the two-day journey into uh, you know, a quick first leg on Sunday there, because we're kind of tired after being there for a long day. So I called Waukegan Tower here, told them we wanted to land at Signature. And uh, they cleared us to land on the ramp. And I let them know that, hey, we have wheels. I love having the wheels on the helicopter. What it allows me to do is actually not land on the ramp and blow everything around all the other airplanes. So I clarified to the tower we had wheels and we'd land on the taxiway at the entrance to the ramp. And uh, we were cleared to do that. So here you'll see the approach uh, at the Waukegan ramp into the signature uh, area. For those of you that are watching very closely and you got a big screen there, you can start to see the airspeed uh, start to come down there. I try and keep it above 50 knots until we're right at treetop level. Uh, that's the right, uh, you know, if we were to lose an engine, supposedly we have enough forward speed to auto-rotate there. So I try and not get too slow till we're below that height. Um, here we are headed right directly. The tower right now is right at 12 o'clock. You can probably see it. And I'm going to land right on that ramp where I just pointed it out to Carol to help her understand where we're going to be landing. It always helps to brief your passengers so they know what's going on. No surprises. There was an aircraft on final, so I was kind of anxious to get across the runway and not hold things up. And here we are coming right. We just went over the runway now, and we're going to land right on this ramp. Uh, one of the rules for helicopters is that we're supposed to avoid the flow of fixed wing traffic. So uh, we're not flying the same normal patterns. As you saw here, we're kind of perpendicular to the pattern, actually. And here we are. I hadn't flown it in almost 10 days. The set down was uh, trying to be very nimble about it. 
but uh, it did set down. There it is. And uh, we're just going to taxi in. And then the next morning, we left Waukegan, and we flew down the Chicago shoreline. It was just absolutely beautiful, clear skies. Unfortunately, the GoPro camera looks straight ahead. So Carol actually took a bunch of pictures here with her iPhone. You can see how close. We flew the shoreline at right about uh, 1,000 feet and maybe, mm, I don't know, a quarter mile offshore there. And it was just gorgeous. It's the prettiest we've ever seen Chicago. The sun was up. We departed early in the morning around 8 o'clock. And so the sun really lit up Chicago and made it look really pretty. So anyway, there's our trip. And guess how it ended that week? We were pleasantly surprised with a grand champion helicopter trophy. So that was a real surprise to us and a really neat way to end the week. So hope all of you who went and had a good time. Unfortunately, Saturday there were some fatalities which put a damper on the week, but uh, we got home safely after two days and been catching up ever since. Thanks for watching. <laughs>